Hey everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I have a Skype for Business tip for you. I'm going to show you how to record a meeting and then retrieve that recording for future use or editing or whatever you need to do with it. So let me open up a meeting in Skype for Business. So I've got my meeting going now. We're just going to have to pretend that I have more participants and there's more of an active meeting going on. But in order to start my recording, I'll go to the ellipses, this three dots button in the lower right hand corner and click start recording. And now you can see that I got a really quick notification that popped up. It just told me to avoid legal issues by not saying anything that I don't want recorded. And I've got a warning bar on the lower part of the screen. I can just click the X to dismiss that. Now you can see that I have some recording controls here, a pause and a stop. When I'm ready to stop recording, I'll just hit that button. And now you can see I get in my lower part of my desktop here, click here to view progress in the recordings manager. Now that's where you'll be able to see your recordings as they are rendering and then being saved as a recording file. If you want to then retrieve that file so you can, like I was saying earlier, edit or distribute to your team, click Browse. Now I can't click it for my current recording because it's still being processed, so I'll go to a past recording, click Browse, and you can see that now I'm taken to my default link recordings folder. It hasn't quite caught up with Skype for Business, or at least it's somewhat out of date, and now you can see my Windows Media Player file is here. I can then rename it, edit in a separate program, or whatever I need to do. Hope that tip helped with Skype for Business. For more tips and tricks like this one on Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.